Good morning, modern steaders. Gray sky out this morning. It's supposed to get a little bit of rain. I hope it's just a little bit. We don't get a lot. We'll get the girls out while it's nice out right now. They can get some exercise before the rain comes. Morning, girls. Hope. How are we doing? Huh? How are you doing? Oh, there, Blossom. Just wait till she gets bigger. She gonna kick you butt. Willow seems a little bit more moody towards the end of her pregnancy. She's always been our goat that has the most attitude, but it's becoming a lot more in the last month or so. She's not just that way towards Hope. She's like that towards all the other goats. She's the queen and she can have an attitude. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, morning. What are you doing up there, huh? You think that's a cat perch? Do you? You think that's a cat perch? You're crazy. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Oh, that cat cracks me up. You just gotta come in and claim everything for you, don't you? Is your cat like that? That they think everything is theirs? Oh, Miss Willow. You were so tooty. You're such, you got such attitude. Yes, you do. You staying in the goat barn? I gotta go out and feed the chickens. You staying in? I gotta go out. We gotta go take care of New York City. Hope, did I get hay all over you? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, there's your buddy the cat. Come on in. Yeah, come on in, huh? Now you're getting more daring with the cat? What is that, huh, Hope? He looks like you, color-wise. You gotta go out there and eat while it's nice out. There you go. You gonna use the goat door, Figaro? Come on, figs. You coming out? Oh, the cat that thinks he's a goat. It always cracks me up all the different personalities the animals can have. No two are the same, just like a kid. The chickens are ready to come out. Two by two, they all come marching out. Morning, Moose. Be my lover, be my best friend. I will wait on your border. Figaro, I see you found your way out of the goat barn. Can't wait for the mud to dry out and the grass to green up over here so we can move New York City and get them on some fresh grass. I don't want to move them until it's a greener spot. Oh, did your cat find you? Yeah. I hear your boss. So does Figaro. He does. Have a good day at school. Yeah. I'm seeing some snow flurries. Yeah, I found a caterpillar. Oh, uh, yeah, don't touch that kind. I Love you. Hopefully, we don't get too much snow. Yeah. <laughs>
Me neither. You hear the bus, Tanner? You watching the bus leave, Figaro? She'll be back, don't worry. We ended up having five eggs hatch out from our rare breed eggs that we were hatching in our incubator. It's hard seeing in the red light, but I know for sure we have one olive egg layer, and there's at least three black copper marons, and I don't know if the fourth one is a black copper maron or another olive egg layer. And I can't get over how big these meat birds already are, guys. They grow so fast. Every year I say the same thing. Hopefully this time next week, we'll be moving the meat birds outside. Gotta clean out your coop. Give me some fresh bedding, guys. I don't know how good that's showing up, but it's snowing and raining out right now. Oh, crazy weather. Well, are you over there throwing your head around again? We got parkour possum over there. <laughs> parkour possum. Parkour blossom. Sorry I called you a possum blossom. Well, it stopped snowing and raining out, which is nice. What are you girls doing? I'm gonna be making some noise. I need to start cleaning up some of these apple trees right here. I know that one's pretty neat looking, but it takes up so much space. It needs to be pruned. Look at how just wild all that is. They don't produce much fruit the way they are. So I gotta figure out the best way to prune them up. Hey Figaro. And then the barn's gonna be from there to there. So we want to clean that up and get it looking nicer down here. I had the chainsaw running good yesterday. Hopefully it'll be running good today. some of this. Let's see. Do you girls like some top of a tree to eat? Huh? <laughs> They're like, ooh. Is that good? I figured that'd be a good tree to give them. Some of it was starting to bud out so there's some greens on it for them to eat other than just the bark. Try to assess this tree and see what's salvageable. All over here, a lot of that's dead. That leader going up that way is dead. We have like an offshoot that's alive right there. This one's tried to, but it's way over here. I know we will save this area right here. We'll be able to make a ladle out of that someday. So any of the crotches, we'll keep them. I guess we're just gonna have to start cutting it up and see how it goes.
Happy and content chewing their cud. I get that picked up and I'll be right back. It's so nice being able to watch the property unfold and they're coming into different shapes and forms. This area right here last year, last this time last year, or early summer, was really loaded with heavy underbrush. We had the goats out here in the portable electric Premier One fencing. They cleaned all the underbrush. So this year we were able to get in here and clean up the apple trees. We'll give this animal back to the goats. We'll give this area back to the goats once we're done getting the barn up. And we'll reposition a bunch of stuff. And then over here, this area used to just be a tiny little like grass where that probably like two widths of my Kubota. So it's neat to be able to see it all come together. We had the property logged last year. There's so much we've been doing and so much we've, we're still gonna be doing. If you haven't seen the videos of the property getting logged, I'll put a link right here to the playlist of that. You comfortable, Figaro? I'm gonna cut down the last big leader for the day that's overhanging too far. So then they'll be able to get their equipment in here. We don't gotta worry about them getting caught and hung up in the apple trees either. <laughs> The camera died when I finished up down here, but I got most of it picked up. I ran out of time a little bit, but we'll have to get that another day. It looks a lot more open down here. I gotta finish cutting down the bigger leaders, one there and one there. Can't forget the goat seaweed. This is where the seaweed comes from. You stay, Tanner, we'll be back. Which one of y'all want the seaweed? Who's been eating it the most? You blossom? Or has it been a pregnancy thing, Willow, huh? You've been craving kelp since you've been pregnant? It is you, Willow, eating all the kelp, huh? 
Oh, well, Blossom's enjoying it too. They'll have that gone in a day or two, I bet you. He get you? Mean kitty. I was wondering where you went, Hope. It's your turn for the seaweed. I can hear you crunching that. <sighs> they sure do love that seaweed. We're gonna have to order a new bag of it pretty soon. Come on, you crazy dogs. <laughs> Come on. Come on. He's like a little bunny. Come on. This way. Come on. Tanner, come. Pluto, come on. You need some seaweed there, Moose? There we go. Some of these eggs are so nice and dark. I love that color. Can't wait till the black copper moraines that we just hatched out start laying. Moose! They always seem to lay in one nesting box. Tonight for dinner I'm gonna make a Mongolian chicken over rice. What a Get my cloves of garlic ready. Take the paper off. Oh, that garlic smells so good. I'm gonna be using tamari sauce. You sleeping? Does that front feel good?
you're disappointed it's just rice in there? Well, I thought it was a full meal. That's the mayo. Mongolian. It's Mongolian chicken. Mongolian chicken? It's a Mongolian chicken. That. Do you want your honey rice? Yes. Okay. Figaro cracks me up. Before, I never used to pay attention that much where he was, and then while I was editing video, I'd always find him lurking here and there behind us, and now when we're out doing the chores, I'm kind of paying attention to him where he is now, and it seems like it's maybe egging him on a little bit more to get a little bit more courageous and daring to get close to us while we're out doing the chores, which keeps it entertaining, so I like it, but man, it's always fun. There's always an adventure to be had on the homestead in life I think that's life in general it all depends on which way you look at it if you go out on the day and say man today's gonna stink you're gonna have a terrible day if you go out with the attitude today's an adventure and you start seeking and looking for the adventure that's what you're gonna find so most of the time no all the time we need to get up out of bed and start our day on the right foot Start it with, today's going to be a good day. Something good is going to happen to me. Or, today is going to be a great adventure. Let's go out and seek it. If we had that attitude every day, man, how great would that day be? How great would that life be? That's something I'm going to start doing from now on. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us and our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.